You guys uh, had a couple guys up in the front. You had Filippo, you had Rensman there with you all day. Looked like a good day out for you guys. Uh, then what came, we all knew would come, is the Pogacar attack. What was going on there at that point? What were you thinking? <sighs> so many questions. Um, well, summarize what the heck was going on when Tade attacked. Yeah, no, we, uh, well, for a start, it was a good day for us. We had two in the break, what we wanted. And then, you know, as you say, people was there until, the, well, the very end. Um, and, yeah, we knew that attack was coming. UAE rode hard all day, wanted the, to go for the stage. And fair play to them. Chapeau is, uh, to a man, they all just buried themselves, you know. And we knew that attack was coming. And to be honest, I wasn't feeling 100%. Well, I wasn't confident anyway, just didn't feel super all day. And um, so when it came, I just thought, well, I'll just try and use the other guys, follow them. Um, and then obviously we just like slowed right up then and it became a, a cat and mouse uh, a race amongst us really. And everyone sort of let Paul go and do his thing basically. And um, but yeah, I felt better, the legs sort of came around and felt felt all right by the end and uh, yeah it was nice to gain a bit of time on everyone and finish with Danny. This gap is getting crazy I don't know what it is now but it must be around five and a half minutes or something. <laughs> yeah I don't even know now I think uh, he's just a different level and he's just riding in a different world but uh, you know still best of the rest I guess for now. So. Final thing you talked about in these other stages about always wanting to the team always wanted to race its race and you doing at the front when it needed to be were you racing the race you wanted to race today yeah obviously i would have liked to have gone with pog but as i say i wasn't confident that if i did i would have just blown up um so i had to just sort of ride a bit more conservative and as i say once that gap goes everyone just looks at each other then and it's kind of irrelevant how you could win by five minutes or a minute you know our group didn't seem to be bothered it was about racing against each other then so but uh yeah at least i I was feeling okay, actually. I think um, I was probably better than I thought I was earlier on in the stage. Can we do two more, please? Garrett, rest day, which is probably welcome, but then sounds like some hard days in the rain as well. Is it raining? Could do next week. Oh, yeah. crack me now, mate. I was looking forward to a rest day. But, uh, Not tomorrow, but after the rest day. Yeah, um, Yeah, it would be nice to just get this rest day in anyway and get out the peloton and just chill. And then, yeah, it is what it is. If it's rain, it's rain. But uh, we've done well so far this race. But... As you say, it's two super hard days straight after the, the rest day. So, um, yeah, just try and be ready for that because it starts up bill as well on, on Tuesday. So um, that's going to be solid. Would you like to to share the pie a bit more or not? Or is that it is what it is? Uh, I, th I think he should go for every stage that he wants, really. You know, I think it's a bike race at the end of the day. Um, it's just a shame that none of us can get near him at the minute. But, uh, yeah, like... You just run out of things to say about him, don't you? He's just that good. So, um, but maybe someone will have a chance next week. You never know. Yeah, just final one. Um, how does this stack up against other sort of huge queen stages that you've done in terms of well, how how brutal it was? Uh, it didn't seem overly worse than some of the tough days we've done. Um, to be honest, I think the start on Tuesday will be harder and therefore make it a harder day and then obviously Wednesday as well only a 160 I think but it's either up or down so I think that's going to be probably harder um, than today especially with the day before so um, I'm not saying it was easy by any means but um, I've done quite a few hard days over the years. You set up Tade perfectly with that attack it was always going to be touch and go to get Quintana he did at 1.9 kilometers to go win solo in the pink jersey pretty cool stuff yeah, it's a little bit, you know, face wind, but when it's uh, wind back, we can accelerate, we can make the difference, and I'm so happy that they win. But I think so, not only Tade, all the team, we made great, and we are so happy, another victory for the team UIA, and a perfect job for the guys. The idea was always to go for the stage win, I mean, that was a massive escape up the road. Ah, but you know, when you have the riders like Bogachar, we can control pretty easy, but all the team did a fantastic job, and... We are so happy, you know, and uh, we have still a couple of stage. And yeah, of course, tomorrow we need to enjoy the rest day. And of course, two stages hard and we try the best. Yeah, but the gap is like 30 minutes now to uh, Thomas. Yeah, of course, but we want to win maybe more stages, you know, that's why. And uh, team is uh, the team is working perfect. And uh, yeah, we wait for a couple of days. Well, 
day celebration for Slovenia. Do you have some Slovenian support out there on the side of the road? Oh yeah, there were uh, on the start, during the stage, and in the finish line. So do they know your name? What do they know your name? Or yeah. <laughs> well, no, but they were cheering also for me, so it was nice. What was the strategy today? I mean, obviously, it looked like the escape would have a chance. Did you guys think that Tade and UAE Emirates would want to catch and go for the stage win? And what do you think Tade is thinking here to try to win everything he can? Yeah, in the end, even if we know it that Tade want to win, yeah, we just need to fight and yeah, just to sit in the bunch and do. Nothing makes no sense, so yeah, we try with uh, Attila to go in the breakaway and yeah, just having fun and trying to do the best out of it. Jan, are you feeling good and will we see you on the attack again in the third week? Yeah, yeah, otherwise yeah, it's boring in the peloton. Jonathan, what was the plan out there today? Obviously, a couple of you guys in the escape. Uh, do you think the escape had a chance today or do you think that Pog always wanted to have the stage win? Uh, <clears throat> You have to start the day with a good expectative, no? If you don't start with one goal, not make sense to ride the bike here in a one race. So uh, we expect to have a chance, but in the end, it was too hard for me. So what was the team's plan? Can you give us an idea of what the meeting was in the morning on the bus, how to attack today's stage? Uh, I, can, I, <clears throat> I can't say it much. You can see you now how we race. In the end, that was the result. I think, I don't know how was the GC guys, but uh, I think we did a good job. Yeah, Thomas and the group, I think about three minutes back behind Tade today, so the gap must be five and a half minutes or something now in the GC. Tade caught Quintana, who was solo with uh, about two kilometers to race and one solo, Tade one solo. Wow, oh, it's amazing, no? amazing how, how is this guy so strong. And I think we are focusing our race. And I think it's still one week to go, no? In the two Grand Tours, 25 years old, take the experience, take the conviction, take the security. It's uh, every day is better and every day is more conviction of the, his capacity. You think he was worried this morning, Tade? Was he nervous? Did you? Did he look nervous to you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> Machine, we talked before, but I want to ask about how much does Tade need to be thinking ahead about July and conserving for the Tour de France uh, and maybe easing off on going for more advantage and stage wins? No, it's the, all the, 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 the journalists speak to the Tour de France. In that moment, is, uh, the plan today is uh, try to control the, the stage, with, but no safety for the winner of the stage. But the, the planning is with the remain with the two sprinters to the first uh, two to climb after is uh, with Mikkel three guys to 61k of ballet after is the bigger uh, moment after is domain moment after is the Felix moment and after is Rafa and in the the perfection on the card and of the planning of the of the stage today is the 16 to go is the tailwind after Foscano and it's a good moment for try to to make the selective uh, group and he decided it's a good list and speak directly with Micah and decided together to to force in the, in the last, in the first moment and, and attack. So you're saying in that way Tade doesn't do that much work to get the stage win and he's not spending too much energy here ahead of the Tour de France in July. But uh, in the moment of the, the, the start is continue your pace, it's not the in that moment, change the the, the rhythm and uh, is maintaining your pace and it's good pace for uh, for uh, maintaining the level or uh, um, increase the level of the of the of the gap. Will we see the same strategy in the third week? It's different, different stage, different tactic.